Hey, what's up guys? Rodrigo here, and first and foremost, I want to apologize. I am a little behind on the vlogs, the training footage vlogs. This was Wednesday's training, so today is the 24th of April. It is Sunday. This was um, taken, or the training pretty much happened on the 20th of April so that was four days ago so I am a little bit behind on these vlogs um, I've been very busy this week I've had three exams and a few other things that I've had to take care of so of course I um, naturally fell behind with the uh, YouTube vlogs. so hopefully you guys are still enjoying the vlogs even though they are a day or two behind but anyways we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it on this particular training day I went with a heavier weight than what I had prescribed or what I had intended to work with. I honestly, I didn't look at my to-do list, it's what I like to call it. I didn't look at what um, I was supposed to be pressing and for how much. I was pretty sure it was 275 and after I was done bench pressing I decided to double check because I had a deadlift after. and. I had put down that I was supposed to press 265 for a 4x5, but of course I pressed 275 for a 4x5. So we pressed 10 pounds more than what we were supposed to, and at first I was a little disappointed. I, I you know, I was kind of mad at myself for not, you know, for deviating. But after a few you know, moments of, you know, thinking and um, reflecting, I realized that even though I, you know, deviated from what I was supposed to do, 275 felt really well. 275 felt, you know, RPE 8 the most. Uh, I honestly think I could have gotten an extra two reps in these sets, every single one of these sets. Uh, maybe the last one, not so much, but for the most part, 275 felt like an RP of 8, so I was really happy, um, and I went over my my numbers, you know, projected or estimated one rep maxes, etc., and I pretty much came to the conclusion that my bench press is exceeding, you know, my expectations as far as growth and strength. So after, you know, a very pleasant surprise, we moved on to sumo deadlifts, and I made a mistake again. Um, well, actually, I didn't make the mistake. I chose to work with 475 instead of 470. It was only a five pound difference, and it, it worked out relatively well, except for the second set, which we are looking at right now. Now, as you all already know, or hopefully are familiar with, I am weaker off the ground, so it is more difficult for me to break the floor or break the inertia. And with a sumo deadlift, it is a little bit harder and it just makes it harder overall as far as breaking the, the, the floor. So the thing is that I'm fast, I'm very fast off the lockout, but on the last rep, which we're about to take a look at, my body just completely shuts down. It, it's almost as if I forget that, hey, you know, you're supposed to lock this out once you know you get to around your knees and for whatever reason it just didn't happen my body just shut down it's almost as if I forgot what the heck I was doing and after that I went ahead and killed it the, the last two sets but one of the reasons why I believe this happened is because I actually only slept I want to say five hours this day as I said earlier I have been very busy with schoolwork and uh, some other things so I haven't been sleeping the best but I definitely made do with what I had. So that's it guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you all in that next one.